make no mistake, I love Southerners. Yeah, what I can't hate, what I can't stand, are liberals that hate Yankees and are from the South. Because it surprises me. It makes no sense and it's very triggering. I.e. Tim Wise or he didn't like Vince Roos or Jim Cornette. Jim Cornette is an excellent example of this along with Tim Wise because these are guys that they live in the South. They live in an environment where liberals are intentionally wrecking it. Here, up north in the East Coast, I can understand why someone will be a liberal. I mean, as bad as gentrification is, it's happening here in the city, and it's taking away some of the racial problems. Down south, where the cities are 60% black, why are you doing this? Why are you enacting these liberal policies? Why are you advocating for them? It makes no damn sense. You are literally hurting yourself. Here, we could basically vote as left-wing as possible, and we may end up better off than we did four years ago. That's why I'm not surprised by the heavy level of liberalism here. Yes, there are going to be disadvantages, and lefties are smug. We'll find hidden consequences here and there. But they shall come to pass. So it is written. Down south? You don't have that luxury. Because Yankees and Jews both despise you. They both want you gone. And you have guys like Tim Wise on your side himself that's that's daft I can't respect that I can't respect a southern liberal because you reap nothing you lose in every way that's painful to watch you may not have the tumblerisms you may not have uh, I too am Harvard guys on your side but you're still a detriment in the university sectors and in the industry not the industry the institution they know who Tim Wise is he's not a good authority on anything yeah, they'll use him as an authority. And that sickens me. Because you're hurting something that people around the world look to positively and endearingly as American. And nobody wants to notice. Southerners are known for their kindness. They're not rude Yankees. It'd be really hard to find a Mr. Wonka 7 in the South. With my four-letter word catchphrases and my perverted mind and my masterful imagery that causes visceral reactions to everyone. You're not going to find that there. At least not as much. And that bothers me. Because if there's liberals there, if the cities are becoming more and more effective in blue state, and places like Florida are getting more and more New Yorkers, 
and then the future ain't looking any brighter for them. It's going to end up a third world country. No doubt about that. You're already seeing the effects. And what's a third world country but a place with a population that's high on dumb morons, i.e. the black people, and also high on left-wing social policies and no defense for it. You're not going to get that kind of effect in New York City because we put all the nasty people in the Bronx and then we find ways of dealing with them. We put the other nasty people in Brooklyn, but yeah, the, the projects are going to be lost. Project buildings, ways of housing the scum, they all give ways to gentrification and overpricing. Soon enough, the Yankees will find a way to win. And the evil empire will reap all the spoils, all the southerners do themselves in. That ain't good. This is Mr. Walker 7, and does some D.